What is up, Anting Vlog? Today I am at a new location. Um, see back there, there's some stuff going on. We are at Madera Canyon. This is a new place for the vlog. I've been here a couple times before. I've been here once about a year ago to do some rock flipping like we'll be doing today. And then I've been blacklighting here a couple times. Uh, but it's been a while since I've actually been here to rock flip. Like I said, about a year. So I'm pretty excited to do this one. Um, I actually wasn't even going to do a vlog. And then I figured, hey, why not? You know? So here you are. If you're seeing this on YouTube, that means it's good. So keep watching. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and update you with uh, what we find. So we actually found this earlier. But there's already a Fidoli Rea colony. These guys are common in the parking lots around here. Um, but you can see they've got all this going on here from their nest. And then they have another entrance here. And then another one over here. So it's a big old colony. Of course, they're not active right now because they're nocturnal. But uh, I think before we leave tonight, uh, you'll see that. Because we're not camping today. So I'll probably get some good footage of those guys when they do become active later today. So this is kind of funny. Uh, these are Pogonomermex huachaconis queens. Needless to say, one of the last things that I was expecting to find today... Uh, these are solo queens, too. They didn't have any colonies. They were found separately, but I actually forgot to grab test tubes. So this is the only one that I have on me right now. I'll have to go back to the car and grab some more. Um, but yeah, just two different queens under two different rocks in this area. The reason why this is so funny is because the only other place that I have found these is in Payson, Arizona, which is about three and a half or four hours north of here. Um, and it's a completely different environment. So it's just really weird that they're here. I mean, I, I knew that they were here. There's, I think, one observation of them on iNaturalist here. Um, but still, I'm, I'm surprised to see that and very happy. So that's that's cool, yeah. So this is a, another find where I knew that these guys were here, but I wasn't necessarily expecting to find them, as I did not the first time that I was here. We have our good friends, Odontomachus claris. I realize now that we've actually found these quite a lot in vlogs, but I think that, if anything, I've just gotten good at finding them. Nice! And he just found a Campanota San Sabinus queen, but really quickly. This Adontamachus colony. Queen. And he found a Campanota So Creatus queen. Okay, well I guess I better get over there, but really quick. This is a huge Adontamachus colony, and there was like a hundred workers under this rock. And then under this rock that was right next to it, there was like 30 more workers. So this is a big colony. So uh, what he found... Okay. While I was doing that, is this at Campanota So Creatus queen. She's real dark, let me try to... Get her somewhere a little better that you can see. Uh, tube's fogging up a little bit, but she is Ocreatus. She's got them nice dark legs and the right coloration for it and the right size. She's huge. With one little teeny tiny worker. One little nanotic. Look at it go. But yeah, that's a very nice find. These guys are, you don't find the queens very often. So nice. So we got these. I probably should have gotten some pictures of them while they were on the rock. We could put some up. Yeah, he got some nice pictures, so I'll throw some of those up. Uh, while I'm looking for this queen in here. I just saw her. Of course, it's a super scratched up vial, so it's going to be hard to to film in there. But if I want to stop talking and just tell you what the heck we found, uh, it's a nice Fidoli colony. Uh, you'll know what species it is. We are unsure of a you know field ID for these guys. So I'm not even going to bother throwing names out there because they'll probably be wrong. <laughs> but... You'll know what they are, and uh, I mean, I've really tried to show you this queen, but she is just... I don't know where the heck she ended up in this thing. I just saw her. I know she's in here. But anyways, we did get the queen, and as you can see from those pictures and this little thing here, they do have some really nice majors for their size. They are super small, Fidoli. But their bimorphism is really nice, and their queen is actually surprisingly large. You can probably tell because you, again, have been seeing pictures and uh, probably know... You can probably tell how big that queen is compared to those miners. Yeah, I can't find her in this vial, but she's in there. You can tell, I got kind of a lot of them. It's a pretty big colony. So yeah, pretty cool. So this is kind of comical. Right here, big old rock of Campanotus sansabinus. Big old pile of brood. And then right next door, a slightly less big rock with a Campanotozo creatus colony. Tons of brood, though. 
Not that many workers, but look at all that brood. That's amazing. So under this rock right here, we found a Campanotus San Sabinus colony with three queens. There are two of them here. One of them escaped, and because of that, I'm gonna just gonna let them go. I don't really want them that badly. And three queens would have been cool. Two queens is somewhat cool. Not cool enough for me. Uh, so I just let them go, you saw that, but still cool find. Polygynous Campanotus, not something you see every day. So we'll have to get an idea on this later, but we found a toe biter, or a giant water bug, with eggs all over its back. Look at that, thing's covered in eggs. Here, let, let, let it go and we'll it. See, so yeah, it was just in the, the water here. There it goes. Neat. So this is a pretty crazy find. Not the species itself. Uh, I'm gonna have to jiggle them around a little bit so they don't, you know, get out of this vial. But we got some Trachy Myrmex arizonensis, which I have found in, I think, the majority of logs by now. But the difference now, I'm gonna try to cup this vial uh, and get a video, but I actually got the queen. I flipped the rock and she was just right there, which is basically unheard of. I don't know that we'll be able to see her again. These vials are very scratched and not very good for image and, and video. But she is in there somewhere. Oh, is that her? Yep, there she is. See that gaster? She doesn't want to come out. Workers are dragging her. There's the tracking room, Sarah's on Ensis Queen. She's curled up playing dead right now because they're very stressed, but she was very alive, I promise you. But yeah, there she is. Very cool. Check this out. We already found these guys here before in this vlog, but this colony in particular just has an absurd amount of brood. These are probably a late larvae. Tons of larvae, tons more larvae. It's really all larvae, because uh, it's a little too early in the year for them to have pupae yet. But even like if I lift this piece of grass in the grass clump, under the grass clump, on the rock, under the rock, just brood everywhere. And these guys, like, like these larvae are enormous. Like, look at this, this major, like, they're big. These are the largest Campanotus in the U.S. And yeah, whew. that's that's a big colony. So today's episode is not going to be a trimorphic trifecta, but we do have the main two. Here's our Fidelia obtuso spinosa, and you saw the very first clip was Fidelia rea. So we do have two of them, but I don't believe that Fidelia tepicana is here, and I really don't anticipate to find them. But we got the big two, so. Really, that's all that counts, isn't it? So under this rock right here, there was two different Fidoli colonies, both with the queens. So we got this one that's actually a pretty decent size. We might collect her. She's pretty interesting. And then we have another one in this test tube here. Where did she end up? Give me a second. Yeah, there she is. Right there, another queen. And the workers, they're like fighting under this rock. So... You can kind of tell that the larger queen's workers are, well, as you would expect, larger. So you can see there's some little workers and some larger workers. Like minor workers, not like a normal major. And they appear to be uh, not friends. They're not fighting as aggressively as I would expect, though. Yeah, look at that. They're just kind of walking by each other. But they do not seem... Yeah, there's one snapping at another one. Yep, look at them go. Oh. <laughs> so that's super weird that they just happen to be, like, right next to each other. We got a snake. Dude, we just got a snake. 
Which is really funny because we were with a herper last time and we didn't find any snakes. And he was actively looking for oh, he's them. He's puffing up on me. And then in the last two trips, I didn't film the last one, but I did find a southwestern blackhead snake. And then now we got another gopher snake. This is probably the biggest snake that I've seen he's in Arizona. He's got a cool snake too. Look at him. He's like... He's moving, yeah. He... He's not super happy with us, so I wish that we had frickin' the other guy's snake hook. <laughs> kind of use it as a snake hook. Look at this thing. Yeah, he was just coiled up under that rock. So the snake is nice. He's got little beanie baby eyes. It's so funny. He's a good boy. He calmed down. Good boy. Good snake. Hey guys, welcome back to the planting vlog. I this is an interesting one. Look at this cactus. Let me I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. It's purple. It's purple and striped. Look at this thing. I'm gonna figure out what this is. Why it's got these little fluffy dudes. Actually, those are probably just like seeds or something. I don't know. But yeah, I just looked over and I saw this cactus. It's pretty cool. Look at it. Planting vlog. Hello everyone, we are driving back. It was a long and very tiring day, uh, which is probably not gonna be reflected in the vlogs. The vlog's gonna be a little short, I think, on this one. Um, we were kind of just finding a lot of the same stuff over and over. I mean, we probably found two dozen Campanotus Santabinus colonies, a dozen Ocreatus colonies, uh, half a dozen Trachymermex colonies, but um, I showed you pretty much all the good stuff that we found. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed, even though, like I said, this was a little bit of a shorter one, and we didn't find anything too insane, besides for that Trekkie Mermex Queen, that was crazy. Um, other than that, it was a pretty tame vlog, so I guess just nice and chill for you guys this time. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.